And Okie dokie. Oh, and, and Oh no, I don't have the screen shrine. Okay. So as some of you I I yeah, I it's been a crazy day. Um you see the red carpet and <laughs> oh so we have a treat okay let me get the links in the chat so this is wow this is really big i had i have my thing set so um uh so i could see it number one when we're sharing all right and it's still there. <laughs> and we have Allie with with the drum roll. And, and it was so fun to, because uh, I don't tell anybody what I'm doing. Um, and I was me. glad, yeah, even mom, I was glad that Allie, that you were on. So that way it wasn't just a surprise from, uh, you know, seeing it later and like, wait, hey, that's all my pattern, even though, you know. So you posted this on the Facebook group. So everybody knows about it and, and some have been doing it. Uh, but I wanted to give it a, a proper launch as we like to do. And uh... <laughs> hi, Teresa. I'm going to have you on mute if you don't mind. And because I'm getting some, oh, there we go. Oh, I can get it. And hi and welcome. And oh, let me, before I finish what I was thinking, um, uh, finish the housekeeping part which is uh we'll use the use the chat for chatting just because it gets uh, uh a lot of times uh, really echoey and and stuff so we we'll use that if you are new to us and you're trying to find out where on earth is the chat now if you're using a um a phone or a tablet you sometimes have to like tap on on the screen somewhere uh when we were trying to discover how to get rid of the chat last on the earlier session, it was like uh, sometimes uh, it's a swipe down or or uh, touch in the uh, was it like the upper left corner? It depends on the device you're using. So kind of those normal things that you end up doing uh, do so that we um, you can use the chat and then also be able to see. Another thought is, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting this on something. And who's oh Kim does this? That's why we see two Kims. Is uh, she'll use one device for the chat and, the, and another device to see. So that's just, you know, kind of helpful. Um, uh, so we'll do that. So, and again, say hi, where you're from. And if you're new to Zentangle or new to us in the chat. And so back to what we're doing today, we're going to um, <laughs> double the fun to Kim's. <laughs> that's right. Uh, all right, let me share my screen and let's, um, oh, good, Teresa, yay. Now you can, can see and hear, yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so let me share my screen. And so here's how we work uh, for those new to us. Um, I'm gonna talk, talk through the tangle. You can work on whatever you want with whatever you want. Get as fancy as you want or, you know, just play in a sketchbook or something like that. It's up to you completely. And, um, you know, and then towards the end, uh, at about five minutes till, uh, you'll you see lots in the chat with uh, minute warnings and this and that. Ah, welcome, Inez. Yay. Um, you know, and everybody that can and wants to can share on the screen, you know, on the screen and we'll take a screenshot and all of that and enjoy what everybody did. Okay, so this is Minton from CZT Alyssa Herget and... We bothered her enough. That was the inspiration because um, she did this on one of our, oh, let me, did I put that in? Wait. On one of our other classes and we were, yeah, hey, that's you. <laughs> Are you surprised twice? <laughs> um, let me get the other one up there too. And let me, because yeah, my brain is, you know, you know how you rush and then my, my brain just gets scrambled for a while. I'll just take some deep breaths and then it'll calm down. All right, let me put this one in here also. Okay, and in the chat. <laughs> she practiced her shock face, shock face all day for this. <laughs> uh, so uh, in, we did a, a festive tangles 
class and that's what she did here and we're like oh that tree is awesome you should put make the step outs and so others concurred and and she well as she said earlier we beat her with was it broomstick handles or something that's what she said yeah and uh (laughs) and said okay i will so that's what we're gonna do um i want to we'll show this one first since it's right here so starts well starts off with it doesn't have to be straight lines but making an upside down v that's going to be the top or honestly it can be the bottom and it can turn into something else it doesn't have to look like a, like a a tree if you don't want it to um and then we'll finish that with you know kind of mirroring it and doing a a, a v underneath and i think this is the part that hung me up uh, enough that I think you two want these little side arms, these little straight-ish lines coming out to the side. Um, if you kind of make them wide, I was looking at this and like, oh, look, at it. it's kind of like a zigzag. But even here, you can see that it's a lot wider distance uh, apart than, you know, this, you know, the uh, the diamond that we created. And the reason being for those, for that to be wider is because the next step, we're going to go from the top and draw a straight-ish line down. And so you want to have some room. I was ending up like with a little sliver, but it was still okay. It doesn't matter. Then, and I have to watch, Allie has has us going straight, straight down, kind of uh, one of the uh, step out that kind of snakes around. Uh, So coming straight down here from the bottom of that diamond we're going to come out and i i kind of did it about midway and come out with another straight ish line on either side and we're really we're repeating these first few steps it's just we're essentially hollow bowing behind what was done already so here we're finishing up with a v on the bottom and then there's the two little arms coming out and then the two straight lines these you know they're just you know, have them go up at whatever angle you want and stop when you get to that line. And then as uh, Alyssa says, repeat as desired. And so you can create a wreath. So that's what we were, for those that weren't on the earlier session. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, uh, Alyssa says, I drew too far in the fourth box in black. So I had to improvise. And, oh, I see. We won't tell anyone. No, the, the, the best, the best things come from things like, oh, well, whoops. <laughs> why not um but yeah so depending on how you do it you can construct it in a circle and make like a wreath you could do this just do to make a make a bow uh type of shape uh if you flip it all the way upside down and you kind of round it it looks like stats tulips um i'm trying to remember what else we had from this morning it was just it was a lot of fun so all right and this is my version of the step out um I guess I just did it to giant size. And then for shading, uh, if you want, you can, and you can see all the different varies, variations of lines um, in here. Some straight, some really not. And <laughs> um, for shading, one idea is to kind of go underneath uh, the zigzag. So that makes it look uh, very, um, I don't know what the right word is, shelved. <laughs> Stacked stacked but yeah it, it creates that neat shadow so all right well let's get to fun I, I all of you are probably way halfway done by now so all right i think i want to work on black <laughs> yeah after seeing <laughs> rosemary's <clears throat> oh so pretty all right oh and then if you if you uh as you're going if you end with just putting uh it, uh, what it would be the first step in a new level then you get like a trunk Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi Leisha. well I almost well not really sleep through but I almost slept through this one because I was just not here all right I think um, let's see oh it's okay and Rosemary should we, uh, I always, just because it's what we've worked on with black, is I always go to white first, and I need to start training myself. You don't have to do that. We have all of these other colors that work beautifully on 
um, on the black. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Okay. And if anyone anyone is new or, or kind of gets lost or wants me to go back or anything like that, just holler in the chat and we will do that. Okay, I'm gonna do, wait, um, This or this one, Patty? <laughs> and if you scroll up a little bit, you should be able to get oh yeah, not and not too far, the links. Oh, okay. Yeah, well I'll talk I'll talk through. But yeah, this these were my creations. I didn't I didn't get um oh and thank you, Tarla. Um I didn't get uh, crazy creative and go in a, in a circle. But if you want to watch mom, she oh she's going to try to replicate what Rosemary did. I'm going to try. So, and doing it in the round, making it like a wreath with a ribbon around. So you can watch her or I'm going to just do it normal like. And Not I'm, I'm penciling in her placement. <clears throat> we shall see what happens. Oh, I should try to make mine a little, uh, you know, a little curvy would be neat. We'll see where it goes. Okay. And I know I always say it, but it is the fun of Zentangle, right? Is not having to worry about doing things absolutely straight or absolutely like we see because then we come up with something super cool. All right, let's try this. I'm going to go out further than I think. Like that. That helps. Okay. And then, like I said, I was I kind of eyeballed it at about half midway on on the center bit and Oh, I did do it. So, okay. So just looking for those that are like me, it's like I have no idea how to make it go curved when it's something like this. But so I I made this one at a little bit at more of an angle than this one. So then it is kind of looks like it's leaning already. At least in my eyes anyway. Okay. And then, oh. I'm afraid to start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I, um, oh, Brenda did the lean too. Good. Um, there was a. Uh, Ali had a suggestion earlier that was. Oh, you could. So instead of doing. Uh, what would it be? Step three. You could do step four first, which is, let me do it. Here, let me try it on a little bijou. So you could, we'll do step one. And step two. Okay, and then instead of putting the arms out, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But put out, go from the top, and then bring those points back into, yeah, because it's going into the side of that diamond. I was going to do a little swoop, but then I got scaled in. <laughs> so that works. 
I'll try it again going down another step here. So still the next one's the same. And then the bottom. And then coming out from this side. I feel a little like uh, working without a safety net there. But look at that. That works good. We'll do one more time. <laughs> sure. I've made, we'll see. Well, we'll see where it ends up going. Off the off the page well that's okay i can go off the page like that it gives the impression that it's ginormous so that works okay And let's see how many, well, I still think I'm probably only going to get three on here. <laughs> and coming back the other way that I was doing it. Love it. <laughs> giggle, giggle. Yes. Are you are you giggling at my giggle? <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Oh, you know, and and I, as I'm just uh, just grabbing my phone. Thank you, uh, Tom McCullough, for messaging me. I heard the ting, and I went, oh. That snapped me into looking at the time that I didn't look at my phone. So thank you. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to just continue instead of making a trunk. And that way it kind of gives this impression that we're looking at the top of something. Or, or not. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm having a trunk because I just took it off the I took it off of the the page and I'm like, well, it's not going to look like that. I'll just have these other extra things here. It's not going to look like what I was thinking in my head. That's okay. Well, let's see. Wait, if I no, I still could. Because those would be coming down like that. This would be coming down like that. Oh, it still gives the impression. There we go. Good, good. Well, I was busy goofing around with mine. I wasn't watching what you were doing, but it looks really nice, Mom. Well, I'm, I'm just kind of improvise. I mean, you have to draw the ribbon first. That's what Rosemary mm -hmm. said. Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> instead of doing the point to the tip, like to a point, you just spread it out like it disappears under the ribbon. So you do the, the little diamond like here. I didn't do it at this first one because I didn't think of it. Uh -huh. This one, I did the diamond shape yeah. and then the little wings this. coming out. But mm -hmm. then instead of bringing it right to that tip, I just made it go up straighter so it looks like it's tucked under. Oh, okay. And then instead of, con I can continue this down so it looks like it's hidden, but I'm going to, some of those places, I'm going to put in those gems like she did. Oh, yeah. And and, you know, and I'm sort of like starting a new one at each ribbon. And then, mm -hmm. you know, she had all these gems and little berries and little yeah feathery things that were so cute mm. yeah and wasn't that a i mean 
That was a tangle also, if I remember right. What? Um, the one that looks like little spru- um, spruce. Well, it sort of looks like vertigo, but it's not. It's just a, no, a line but... with little branches think, coming off. Yeah. But I think that, they, like, somebody actually, you know, did that and said, oh, well, let's just name it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, anyway. All right. Now. Now to play. And this is, I've been, I was wanting to do this as I finish these, but. Um, I'm going to add them after. And the beauty of the takeoff and land idea is you can add stuff afterwards and not necessarily have the little bump that you would because you're starting, um, you know, you know, in the middle of something. So just putting the pen down and tracing over a little bit. So that way I feel like, oh, as if I did it when I thought I was going to do it. <laughs> Neat. Neat. Okay, now. Well, mine isn't going to look exactly like hers because I, I just, I just remembered what she did for these ribbons. Oh, well, it's not supposed to look exactly. No, I just used hers as inspiration. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, cuz I um yeah, the aura-ing is a little different, but it still looks nice. It of course looks nice. And you know that pen that I used is kind of peacock greeny already and I have that. Yes, I do. And And or, what is this? I don't know. It's in the wrong place. <laughs> I just wonder. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what kind of damage we can get in. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting, too. <laughs> oh, that looks cute. Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, I'm... some people this morning had ornaments hanging off those tips. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea, too. You could still do that. I could. No, I have this uh, slate gray that I got. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, that looks neat. This is the peacock green and the slate gray next to each other. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Well, with the light, it's trying to make it look a little bit brighter, it seems like, than in, in person. What to do? What to do? This is why I, I take too long, but I take as long as I need. To contemplate, what do I want to do next with it? Um, hmm. Well, I, I, the one I did this morning, which I like, I ORAD, and somebody else did that this morning too, I... and I can't remember. Yes, I, I like that too. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can you can or it. I mean I I did the outside ones running into the middle ones I ORed like the whole box separately. Mm-hmm. And then the side ones I didn't. I had them like running, tucking under that one that goes down the yeah. middle. 
which gives you, you know, I, I started coloring this in with gold, but this, you know, gives you, you could put dots or you could yeah. put little, little lines. I know, like that idea. In that little, if you make the aura wide enough. Why didn't, uh, yeah. Well, you in do some a lot places. Of things with it. And I think I will do it with the same. That's a good idea. Oh, it's a good idea, but I'm going to wait. And you did each section. Yes. I'm going to do it a little different then, I think. Okay, but I still get credit for giving you the idea. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that top yet. Although I'm making my little section just... Well, it will be what it will be. For whatever reason, I'm going too thin for what was in my head. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, you're doing it sort of... No, not exactly the same way. But I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Shulami. Oh, yes. And you could you could actually aura it again like that. Oh, I could. You know, until you run out of space, sort of. Okay, now I have to figure out how I want to, what I want to do. Hmm. What I want to use. Pen. What do I want to use? Okay, I guess I will try it with that. Oh, I um, I didn't say what Shulamit says. Whoa, just dropped in. Much fancier tonight. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta do something at the top there. Well, and then that aura just was, you know, I love how sometimes it's like you get, you get going nice and kind of consistent and then the hand goes, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. So I think I'll just bring these up to the tip ever so carefully. Yes, I like that. Mine are yours. I like what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I oh, I just had another thought. Well, I you know I I, I usually use, I've been basically using a much broader pen, and I decided to do this in a five. And I'm using a Jelly Roll metallic to color it in, and the lines are disappearing. So I'll probably will go back oh. over it because you know the Jelly Rolls cover up the pen. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, because I I did that. Well, actually, well, both the Jelly Rolls and the crazy pops that I used on this one and I went back and had to redefine the lines because it you know it it's just hard to stay within and then knowing too that you can go back and redefine and that just yeah. it really helped it out a lot don't think nothing helps my explosion thing at the top but I think it looks kind of oh, cool I have and I think I'm going to add to it but all right Hmm. 
to coffer or not to coffer? <laughs> that is what I'm pondering. <laughs> I think that could look neat. Could. But I also think dots would look neat too. Okay. Telling myself, coffer, Shulamit says, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I was, and I was just thinking, just do it. Just stop thinking about it. Just do it. Because then my brain was asking me, well, that's nice. Well, then are you, what, what are you going to use to color it and all of that and I just don't know yet and sometimes we just get to take our time and figure things out as we go and don't worry about it Right. I went down the rabbit hole. I hope this pen lasts to color in this whole thing. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I can get. Yeah, she really had it. Rosemary really had it. So the ribbon looked like it was wrapped around. And mine doesn't because I have some. Some of it goes on top of some of the things. and But it's still a, an interesting. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a decoration. But, yeah. you know. And I am going to have to redo all these lines. But that's okay. It's easier the second time. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Uh, well, Al is asking the rabbit hole, like, like the rabbit this morning. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, which one is that? This one? Yeah, I decided to let experiment. Yeah, what other experiment can you do tonight, Heather? That <laughs> yeah, oh no, no. Uh, um, I don't know. I can try it again. Oh, that's right. Ah. Allie has such a good memory. Let me find it. Oh, no, it's not that one. You know, we just have way too, as if there is such a thing as way too much fun. Maybe it was this, nope, not that one. One. Okay, Sherry. It was Sharona. Yes, she did a bunny. Here it is. Wait, yeah. Up here in the upper <laughs> right. <laughs> I said it was a Zen bunny. <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, and then we had, um, let's see, that was three. And then we had Christine who drew. Uh, yeah, say so what we it, not, yeah, a meditating rabbit, exactly. Um, elf on elf on the shelf, Minton style. I don't know, we have to come up with um, with a name for Christine's because it's just funny. And and also showing, oh, look at all the nice things that we that since I'm all, we're down this this rabbit hole. Let's let, let me continue to show. I don't want to cheat anybody. So if you well, we only have have ten minutes before the great um, reveal, but this already gives you some extra tonight. Ideas. 
I know. Yes, and it's my fault for yeah for being late. Well, no, no, right on right on time is really late. So, and let me get to the first one and just look at all of this gorgeousness from this morning. Just so fun. So fun. No pressure. No pressure. That's why I don't, you know. <laughs> oh, let me get this side. Actually, I'm looking in at the camera. I'm like, gosh, this looks this looks kind of nice just like this. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be redefining some lines. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. No, maybe I'll. Well, no. <laughs> I should just go for it. Um, well, that's okay, Teresa. Just geometric shapes. That's good. Yeah. It's a, um, who who was it? Uh, Sandy Vaughn this morning yeah. did did hers in a circle, and um, and colored it green and and pinkish and whitish, and it looked like Christmas cactus. She did it very well. Yeah. It's, it is angular, but. Um, and somebody, somebody else was the other one that just did did it in a shape, mm -hmm. just utilizing the shape, not yeah necessarily having it be a tree. Yep, this is non representational, <laughs> and it's a good thing, right? Oh yes, and and um, Ali says it's not supposed to be a tree; it's a minton, as in badminton. Oh, okay, and that oh with the beginning shape because of the beginning, yeah. Okay. Well, see, I didn't remember that. I heard you say that's what it's called, and I couldn't you know, figure it. Oh, it's one of those goofy names that. <laughs> well, Ellie, I thought... had, Ellie had a nightmare, and the name came to her, and then she decided to draw this. <laughs> well, I thought, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know because I. That's why I asked. Well, I heard you talking about badminton. This morning, and I couldn't yeah, hear that's, why. Yeah. I just, you know, how you get off the Moving subject. Going. Yeah. I just yeah. accepted it. This one, I don't know what they're talking about, but okay. <laughs> so, so when when so when you were doing yours in the, hmm. I mean, because it does look like that. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it says, well, yeah, while Minton may be drawn to resemble a tree, it's not its only or primary purpose. Right. right. Yeah, because on on Sandy, she she added, uh, you know, another layer to the sides, and um, oh yeah, that, she that's right. She had yeah. three things going out instead of just yeah one on each side. And that's you know extra fun to. To play with it. Okay, Sandy, we'll feel better. Yeah, because, yeah, hard to, I mean, when you're coughing, it's hard to enjoy anything, let alone trying to, you know, do something like this. All right. 
Hmm. Now, I'm sure I should be putting the same color on the sides and then doing something, but... Maybe just burnishing with the white will be better. Maybe. Or not. I don't know. I do know that whatever I, it's like, I started doing it and I have to finish doing that. <laughs> yeah, once you begin. Yeah. Well, and I, I, I can go to a certain point here because I want I don't want it all the way. I want to keep that darkness on that one side there. I got a should from from Tarla. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, Ellie. That one little section is just too small. All right, let's see what happens. Let's get that off. hard when you can't see the smoothness on the black it just kind of it takes on a different look so i don't know i'm just gonna keep playing with it i like that though oh i see oh you're okay i get it tyler was saying should not yes you, you should never should on yourself yes and I did. <laughs> Actually, right now it's making me think of that magic mirror toy. With the sand, oh yeah! Remember those? Because they, they, they these yeah. colors are the colors of the ones that we had. I'm sure they have other colors now. If they, I'm sure they still have those things. Yes, I've seen them on uh, Facebook or Amazon or someplace not yeah. too long ago. That is one. Yeah, I have a weird line here. Yeah, exactly, Rosemary. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I was. I, I actually, I was. I was first thinking putting you know like the silver dots but since i did the coffering i'll have to figure that something else out but yeah i'm gonna add some therefore and some yeah white dots and silver dots and i don't know i'm thinking maybe sometime rosemary <laughs> We we should uh, collaborate on a uh, more fun with black tiles session to kind of play with these kind of extra ideas outside of just, you know, usually when I do it, it's um, more of, yeah, let's get to working on it and using white and, and, and some, some neat techniques, but uh, oh, two minute warning. Oh. You know, it's so funny because I'm looking, I'm going, well, this just looks rough. But if I was to look at somebody else's, if this was, you know, their finished thing, I'd be like, that is amazing. I don't, how did you come up with doing that? 
and that's the the neat thing of of uh you know like of the entangle is find a way to make it uh, look like it's or say oh that's not mine and then see what your brain does <laughs> And then, not that it's done. Um, wait, Bartholomew's stack of hats. I'm not sure what that's from. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting, Rose. Yeah, because I'm like going, okay. Because I, I just, I lightly colored in. Although I think I will, whoops, there it goes. Um, add some lighter to the one side, but for sure, um, where to, where, where, and everybody can start to share. And I'm not looking yet. Okay, I got at least one one section, sort of. <laughs> oh, look at these. Wow. Oh. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, Deb, I love it. Dubs did a good, nice take on Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. Um, uh, so, Teresa, if you open up, uh, where, start your webcam. And if you're, I'll see, oh, sorry, you were on a, well, I probably where you find the chat, you'll also see the little symbol for, uh, for opening up your camera. And then you'll just have to figure out uh, which direction it's, I think there might be a flip. Um, buttons so that way you can uh share it there oh these are so neat and while everybody is getting on i will let you know before i take it so that way if your hands i don't want anyone's hand going to sleep um i'm putting in my email so if you can't share for some reason and you want and you're not on the facebook group oh these are gorgeous Oh, look at, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right. All right, so I'm. it's not moving anymore, so I'm going to guess this is everybody for now. And there we go. So yeah, Storm, move yours back towards you just a smidge. We'll get the whole, oh, there, yep. Yeah, and there we got Jen, Jen with two ends adding. Oh, golly, look at that. Okay, perfect. All right, hold them steady. They were already steady. All right, I've got them. So nice. All right, let me share. And then... <laughs> oh, let me see the doggies. And everyone's fun. Wait, did I get... I did get mouse. Okay, let me share. And... All right, and then let me turn off my... Yeah, webcam. Turning that off. Okay, good. And oh, and I might as well turn yours off. Uh, oh, you got it. All right, let me sh shift this. Oh my goodness! And another use you can create. Look at what Allie did. Oh, adorable. Oh. I love the Charlie Brown leaning one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. And actually, oh, no, wait, no. Heather's, your, yours looks very arty. It does, doesn't it? It's it amazing. It does. It does. I'm impressed. That's what I said. If I if it, if I was saying it was somebody else's, I would be. Oh, there's Teresa. Okay, hold on. Let me let me stop the screen share for a second. Yay! Yeah, just pull it back towards you. Oh, it's making. Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh, or I shouldn't say looks towards like you. A, an um, evil lizard or something. No, pull it away from the camera a little bit, or pull the camera further from the book a little bit. There we go. Now I got the whole thing. Oh, perfect. Almost perfect. I got your feet a little bit. There. Oh, wait. Yeah, that direction. I'm going to just do it. Oh, that's so neat. Okay, let me. I got it. Let me save this and paste it. Got it. All right, let me. I'll put the screen share back on. Nice. All right. Gotcha. And okay, I'm screen sharing. Let me um, save. Yes, save. That's what it is. And PM. And I don't know. I'm getting some uh, other stuff. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and mute it because we're getting all kinds of. You know what? I wonder. I wonder if that's the chat sounds. But yeah, it's. And. There we go. I'm just going to mute you. All right. And then let me quickly, before I forget, let's paste what Teresa did. It makes me think of Transformers for some reason. Love it. Love it. And I could see this, depending on how you fill it in and and, uh, and if you decide to color it, it could take on a lot of different things. It, it looks like origami. That is so neat. All right, let's go back to the other. And Tarla, I'm going to start at the top and go around. Oh, my goodness. So pretty i can't wait to see them uh, posted on uh, so that way we can see the, the intricacies in there um oh good oh do you, you left <laughs> that's amazing and jen now maybe i'm wrong but when you added that had that ribbon there all of a sudden i am thinking grinch oh you got kicked out oh that's not nice for it to kick you out like that. Who did that? Did Heather do that? No. I Something didn't think did. So. That's just that's just maybe I don't know. It's after. It's the transformation of of Grinch, you know. Oh, and Brian, look at oh that's gorgeous. What a neat idea, you know, neat idea. Just putting those straight lines in there and then their coloring is beautiful too. And Rhonda, wow. Oh, that is just so pretty. And so here, nice. Oh, I like that in a triangle. Oh, pretty. Oh, and, oh Kim, that is gorgeous. You know, it's just like everybody's taking it. It's so fun because it doesn't matter how we end up doing it. Can you scoot it up a little bit, Heather? Oh, yeah, I can. I'm sorry. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And Rosemary. Oh, wow. That's a little bit different. Oh, I know what the difference is. The one she did earlier, she had the the tree shape. Although, see, she's not, she's doing them all the same. So it's not really a tree shape. It's just a mm -hmm. geometric pattern. Mm -hmm. She had the point. The tips pointing in on the one she did this morning. This one she has them pointing out. Oh, right, right, and more filled in. Yes, earlier. Well, uh, we, I think it was color. after you after you left. I said it looks like hemp, or no, not hemp. Um, hops started with an H. Oh yes, it does no, look like hops. Look like. <laughs> yeah. Hops. yeah, tell us the truth, Heather. But no, yeah, no, that's like... I have no idea what it looks like because they're going. Like, Why do you think that? If, oh, I should have waited to see who could correct me because they would be the ones that would know. Um, 
but no, I saw that. And then like pine cones, you could see pine cones in that too, mm-hmm. just depending on how you can, how you construct it. Let's see. Oh, this, the Grinch is on now. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kim. And that, let's get to, yeah, Mel's. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. And Mel's paper plate collection. And that looks like, uh, It looks like well in the middle, but I know there's some other tangles that kind of look like that. All right, Jen. Well, we'll see you next time. Oh, let's see. And oh yeah, and Tedra's that's oh that's gorgeous. The way you with that the, the oval in the background and the, the colors like that. Creative. Now wait, Cassie, Jen channeling each other. Look at that. Tree with the big ribbon coming down on both sides. Well, Linda That's... has ribbons, big ribbon too, but they're going up. Yeah. Well, somebody did that this morning too. With a big ribbon like that on each side. Yeah. Yeah, and Linda's, wow, that is that is amazing. With, um, what is that, Verve in the middle and some print humps and some Diva Dance. Ugh. Yours looks magical, you know. Oh, sorry. Oh, and there's oh yeah, Inez is from the morning, and then uh the one from and with the snow snow person in there. Ah, so cool. And storm that nice, you know, and, and you know, and look at you know playing with ideas. Oh, and Michelle. Oh, look at Michelle took. She did fragments. They look like paper planes. Oh, what a neat idea. And then uh, dead with two ends. Uh, look at that. All of, oh my gosh. Such fine work, everybody. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, so Tedra says the ink in in the back is stamped and shimmery. So you have a big, a big oval stamp. Then, wow. <laughs> and hi, Linda. <laughs> All right, Michelle. We'll see you next week. And I, pretty sure. Well, just stay tuned because I don't like to. If, if I gave last time I gave too much notice, if I had a schedule change, it messed everybody up. So, uh, oh, forgot to hit enter. So it's just sitting there the whole time. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Oh, Teresa. Well, thanks for joining in. Oh, really fun.